Today we are going to adjust skin colors. Hello my friends and let's get started. I prepared two pictures this time. So the first one is this and you can see the skin colors are pretty blown out. And the second one is this where also the skin colors are not too nice. And we will adjust this with some simple layers uh, like this as an end result. So let's delete these layers. And the only thing we need to do, so it's a pretty easy technique. We will start with the rectangle tool and just pull a rectangle over all of the picture. I will set this to a medium gray. Let's see, we need another color selector here. Let's set this to a medium gray like this. And then we will set it to color burn. This is much too extreme, but don't worry because we will adjust the blend ranges over here, this little symbol blend ranges. And this time we want to have the effect just on the lighter tones and the medium tones. So we will drag this end down from the underlying composition ranges, then unclick the linear, click in the middle and this pull this down until it's just affecting the medium tones and not the shadows. So medium tones and highlights. So we can leave it like this. If you want, you can do a second one just for the highlights because you can see there's a little bit of highlights here. So let's just duplicate this layer. Again, we go to the blend ranges and pull this down or pull this over even more. So it's just affecting the highlights of the face like this and Let's see, you can see that this is affecting the highlights in the picture. Of course, you can reduce the opacity to get more or less of the reflections or highlights in the face. So let's leave it like this at almost 50%. Now we need to address the shadows in the picture. So for this, we again use the rectangle tool and pull a rectangle over all of the picture. But this time we want to have a color in it. So let's set it to a um, orange tone, like, how do you say, um, like a sand-like orange tone like this. Okay, let's see. And this time we set it to multiply. And again, we use the blend ranges. Now we pull down the right side because we just want to use the darker tones. Unclick linear make a point again and pull it down so you get this curve until it only affects the shadow in the image. Let's see, maybe like this is good. Okay, so let's see. Could maybe do a little bit more and we can also try to avoid that we have nothing down here. So a sm let's a smooth line is better than nothing here because it gives soft values over all of this. So this is probably a better solution. Let's see. Okay, it's a subtle effect, but it's there. You can see it. Let's group this real quick. So you can see this is the before and this is the after. It's a really huge impact on the picture. Um, let's save this real quick and then we go to the second picture where it's a little bit easier because you can see here um, the skin is blown out, but we don't have these kind of highlights or reflections in the face. So we can do with two layers in this case. So again, let's create the re with the rectangle tool, a rectangle over all of the face, over all of the picture. And again, set it to a medium gray. Set it the blend mode to color burn and the blend ranges again pull down the left side and then unclick linear and pull down from the middle so we are just affecting the highlights and the medium tones in the picture so about here should be right okay as you can see gives a much better and a little bit toned. You can also use this, this technique to make a skin tone or have it a little bit toned, a little bit like, how do you say, influenced by the sun. So you can see it's much, much better um, skin color. Now again, we make the second rectangle, set it to orange like this. 
Okay, set it to multiply. And then again with the blend modes, this time pull down the right side, unclick linear, and pull this down until it is in an area where you think it feels good, it's the right kind of influence onto the shadows. Right now, because it's multiply, you can see that it influences the background too. This might not be ideal for you. So because this is a rectangle, it's vector, so you have to right click and rasterize it. And then you can use your erase brush to just erase the parts that you don't want to have. So let's set this a little bit bigger, no, even bigger. Hardness very low. There we go. And now I can just erase it on the areas of the picture where I don't want to have this multiply effect. There we go. Very nice. And now you can see there is no effect on the background. There you go. It's just on the person and on the hair, of course. And you can see, let's group this again. You can see then this is a much better picture and much improved colors in the face and in this on the skin uh, than before. So this can be used in a very nice way. And like I said, you can adjust the opacity to have the effect that you want to have and the kind of colors that you want to have. Thank you very much for watching. This was this episode. If you want to see more of my episodes, please subscribe. I do a new episode every, every two or three days. If you want to support me, head over to Patreon. I have the link down in the uh, subscriptions, uh, in the information of the video, I'm sorry. And you get my original files with all the layers. You can talk to me in a live chat and you can also get feedback and more of a say in what kind of topics are coming next. Okay, thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye.